Hello guys, in this video I want to explain about how to implement log 4 j in Spring Boot. Okay, as the first step, let's try to create an application. And here I am selecting Spring Boot version 2.7.6 and let me select the dependency Spring Web and let me give some name for my package and for the application also Spring Boot Logger. Okay. Let me select the Java version 8 and here the packaging is char which is default. I'm not modifying it. Let me generate. Now we'll get some zip file. Let me try to import it from my local. Let me click on Archu and uh, let me go to downloads. Yeah, I am trying to import it here. Okay, let me click on finish now. Guys, if you observe, now our application got imported successfully. And now if you want to implement log4j in the Spring Boot application, now what you need to do means, first of all, you need to exclude logback. Okay, I will show you it here in dependency hierarchy. If you search for logback, it is by default added by Spring Boot, guys. Okay, so what we need to do means, we need to exclude and add some log4j dependency. If you observe, what I have done means I have excluded this Spring Boot starter logging from starter web dependency and I also added starter log 4j to dependency. Now I hope you guys understand if you have log back already existing in the project this log 4j will not work. It will create some issues actually. Okay, I hope you guys understand. Now let's try to create some log 4j to dot xml file. Okay, new file log 4j2 dot xml guys if you observe my log 4j2 dot xml file got created now let me try to paste some config here so here what i want to do i am trying to create a file append a file appender and console appender okay you can see here and if you observe here i am trying to create a file at c logs spring boot app and application dot log it is my log for logger file okay and it is the path c log spring boot app in this location i want to create a file and i also want to print my logs in my console okay here i have given this console appender and here i have written this rolling file appender and my root level is debug I hope you guys understood now and don't worry guys about this log4j2.xml and this dependency I will paste github link in my description and you can refer this uh, log4j2.xml and this dependency from my github okay now here I want to create a log statement private static final logger log equal to log manager dot get logger okay and here i want to add my class name here dot class let me try to add some semicolon now let me try to add some loggers here log dot debug debug message okay in the same way let's try to add logs for different levels okay info and let me edit it here info now let me add level for error Now here I have three levels, right? Now let me try to run this application. And let me check if the these loggers are getting printed in my console and a logging file got created. We observe this logs got printed, right? Now let me check in my C drive whether a log file got created or not. Yeah, if you observe a logs file got created. And we have all these logs here. Now, I hope you guys understand how to configure log4j in Spring Boot. Okay, 
If you have any queries, please comment it in comment section. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.